let's put all the figures together for you uh, in sequence. All right, so these are the agencies that have put out polls. 371 says G-Dynamics, which is the survey that we put out at the very beginning for the NDA. 125 for the India Alliance and 47 for the others. P Mark says 3591530. TV5 Telugu, exact same figures. Jan Ki Baat is the highest figure uh, in the initial part before CNX. 377151, 15 only for the others. CGS says 3611622. Dainik Bhaskar says 325. They are the giving the highest figures in this tally to the India Alliance and 45 for the others. CNX is closest to that BJP magic number for the NDA of 400 at 386. 124 for the India Alliance, 33. None of these polls are indicating that's even close for the India Alliance to get past the 270 mark. None of them. The last exit polls, and I'll come to that, and we'll find out what the margin of error was, but none of them say that. The India Alliance themselves have come out and said, no, our figure is 290, all of us put together. The only way the India Alliance, of course, makes 290 is, of course, the Congress gets in the reasonably high triple digits. So this is the poll of poll. The average, ladies and gentlemen, comes down to 362, 149, and 32. 362, 149, 32 is the average. NDA, India Alliance, and of course, the others. Now, let's have a look at the 2019 results versus what the 2024 poll of poll says, okay? It says the NDA finished 2019 at 353, so the average mean says plus 9 for the NDA at the end of 2024. The UPA, remember the constituents of the NDA have also changed. The UPA, and it was 93, the India Alliance at 149. Remember the constituents of this are completely different from the constituents of this, but technically the opposition principal alliance at 56 and the others are seeing the fall of 65. Some of those are part of this party, but a thumping majority of 362 versus not even close by 130 seats for the India Alliance. That's the comparison from the results. Now, what did the exit polls predict last time? Last time the exit polls average prediction was 306 for the NDA and 120 for the UPA. The actual results were that the exit polls underplayed the BJP and the NDA by almost 20% seats. The actual figure for the NDA was 353 and they overplayed the UPA. So we are often told it's all Godi media, it's everybody's overplaying the BJP. No, last time around the media agencies, the polling agencies undercut and the NDA surprised with a better performance than the exit polls predicted in an average. Some people were on the higher side, they got lucky with their prediction, others were on the lower side and were a bit, bit off the mark. But 47 was the average poll of polls, they were off the mark, underplaying the BJP. 27, they were off the mark, overplaying the opposition, and 20 on this side, and that's how the numbers tally up.